Hey everyone, good morning. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and welcome to a new vlog. Um, I'm so excited to vlog for you guys today because I'm going out. Woo -woo. Well, actually, I'm just going to the mechanic. Um, but nowadays that seems to be a fun trip and also I have an evening shift on call So if you guys watch my last vlog, then you know that I'm on annual leave But um, there were some evening on call shifts for locum um, So I've decided to do them. I did one last night. I'm doing one tonight um, And in case you guys are wondering what does that mean? A locum is almost like a stand-in doctor, kind of like, you know, if your teacher's off sick and you have a substitute teacher. A locum can be a stand-in doctor or just a not permanent doctor for that department. And obviously now, because of the amount of people who are off sick with COVID or COVID contact and stuff, um, I think that we have a duty as doctors to step in if we're needed. So that's why I am locuming um, this evening and last night as well. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to come along with me today and just have a full experience with me. Obviously I am on annual leave so I'm trying to like run my errands and stuff which is why I'm going to the mechanics for my car. I'm going to show you my outfit first. I'm wearing this grey Fashion Nova kind of turtlenecky top. This white pretty, pretty little thing, a puffer, my Gucci belt and then these Fashion Nova jeans that are like skinny. Uh, they're skinny but they're like half pleather half jean and then these are my shoes which I absolutely love they are from public desire so don't mind if you saw in the mirror in the back how I see my rumors literally have piles and piles of different clothes to be shooting for Instagram also my loungewear that I've been living in is also I just need to sort out my room and my whole closet is full so we're thinking of turning my spare bedroom into the closet so we'll see if that happens but you know just keeping you guys in the loop putting it out there putting that energy out there i am gonna head off now because i'm already late and i'm not even there yet peak so i've just come shopping in waitrose and i'm gonna get like all the essential stuff that I want to cook with at home because believe it or not sometimes I cook so also by the way this is my favorite section so all this food is like almost like half made so it's so easy like look at this chickpea spinach and quinoa it's going in my basket um this one's really nice as well cauliflower kale and couscous and then you can season it more yourself um, and then they have sauces too. So I'll show you guys what I end up buying. So guys, I thought I would show you um, what I got from Waitrose before I put it away in the fridge. So I'm trying, as I'm gonna be home most of this week, I'm trying to like make my own food and be healthy. My mom obviously makes food too that is like quite healthy, but um, yeah, I just feel like I fancy like doing some cooking myself. So I got some rocket uh, for salad. I have that with cherry tomatoes, feta, balsamic. Um, and then I got, I don't know why, this is just at the top of the bag. I really wanted to try the truffle um, mayo by Heinz. I want to see if it actually tastes of truffle or not. And then I got these shell pastas because on my Instagram explore, we keep getting, um, I keep getting like these posts that show these shell pastas filled with like um, ricotta and spinach and stuff and so I want to try and make that. Maybe I'll make it this weekend for Seoul. Then I got some dips. I got some guacamole uh, which is for people who have never tried it before. It's basically like smashed avocado with peppers and uh, what else is in it? Tomato, sorry avocado with tomato, lime sugar, onion, red chili, coriander. Um, and then I got some red pepper hummus. Clearly, I love me some pepper. I got some um, bell peppers. I just think they can be mixed and cooked with everything. I got some tomato and onion pasta sauce. Um, some creamy tomato pasta sauce. The waitress ones are my favorite. I like them more than the Lloyd Grossman and this and that, which might be weird, but my fave. Um, and then the sun-dried tomato waitrose pesto as well. I've not tried the waitrose own pesto, but um, 
I think if I like the pasta sauces, then I'll probably like the pesto too. Then I got some um, coconut and lemongrass sauce um, with lime and ginger and also a chicken katsu curry sauce, um, which are just easy to pour on. Clearly, I like things that are basically 95% done for me. I got this cauliflower kale and couscous that I showed you guys in Waitrose and this chicken uh, spinach and sorry chickpea spinach and quinoa which also looks so good like this is just so easy you season it yourself um, and just add in the meat and you're good to go if you're vegetarian add in like tofu and then I got this uh, brown rice and green vegetable stir fry as well because I thought this one would be the best one to match with the chicken katsu curry I got some chicken fillets so this is chicken thigh fillets for the chicken katsu curry um mushrooms because i love mushrooms so much i'm like the opposite of a fussy eater like i love everything and i really really love mushrooms so much i remember i used to have friends in school who in school who hated the texture i love it then i got um some monterey jack uh, cheese slices because they're perfect for my bagel sandwiches um some ravita thins to dip inside the dips some prosciutto because the other day I made a prosciutto and cheese bagel and it was incredible so I obviously want more. Some whole wheat tortilla bread because everyone loves a good like chicken fajita. I've even got the bell peppers for it for the chicken. I think I have the seasoning for it in the cupboard so I can make chicken fajita with some of the chicken as well. And then I got this um, two sea bass fillet with coriander, lime and chili. I might have this now first with some of the rice because I'm quite hungry and this is the easiest to make because you literally just cook it for two minutes on each side. Um, but yeah, I love food that's like already seasoned or like 90% done and you just need to throw it together because yeah, it just it makes your workload so much easier <laughs> and you feel like there's like health, weight choice is quite healthy. All of this came to by the way in case... I know sometimes people like wonder how much does your food shop come to, how much does it last you. It came to £37 and I think this will last me like a solid, at least like, I, I would say like 12 meals. Definitely going to be enjoying my at home cooking at this time. I also think it gives you something to do during quarantine. Even if you're like me and you're not really doing much of the cooking, you're literally just throwing together the ingredients um, that were put together carefully by Waitrose and partners. Um, it still feels like you've achieved something, you've done something yourself, rather than the ciabatta bake, bacon lettuce tomato sandwich that I was going to order. So here we are. Okay, I'll show you guys what I make for lunch. So I've decided to make the cauliflower and kale couscous with the sea bass fillets with coriander and lime chili. So I am just gonna get everything ready and I'll show you what it looks like. So my rice is ready. My mum is making me some salad shirazi, but my fish wasn't cooking fast enough. So tips from the pro, Misa Girdama, said to put a lid on Hello. mom. <laughs> said hi. Hello Hello everybody, vlog. how are you? <laughs> I'm sending positive energy to everyone right now. Yes, you are always positive girl. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank what you. have you been up to today? Um, just uh, errands. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. And then are you filming today? Yes. What are you making? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, so many of you requested on this channel um, to see more of my mum's cooking when she cooked. Um, so she ended up making her own channel, which has boomed. You have nearly 10,000 subscribers. She has almost 600,000 channel views. Are there? Channel? Yes. Almost 600,000 channel views. She's got like her own fan base. Um, and she does like a lot of cooking on there and talking videos. So, yeah, I'm proud of you, mum. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> And this is the finished product. Okay, I'm gonna try it for you guys on camera. Uh, as a true Iranian, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on my fish. I don't know if everyone does that. I'm under the impression that that's like an Iranian thing. We have to have all of our fish with lemon. So, okay. I've got a nice bit of the um, rice that I seasoned with curry powder and black pepper and the fish. Very nice. I put too much curry powder though. <laughs> um, it accidentally fell out of my hand. And I can really taste the curry powder. But it tastes really good overall. I'm just going to add some 
uh, olive oil and lemon to this and it will be beautiful also with my salad bueno that's can many things bueno can you please one day you cook for my music girl of course oh thank you very much when Whenever. Guys, let me know in the comments what you want me to cook on Music Elema and I will cook that. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> honestly, honestly, those food, she love it, she make it perfect. It's not possible I can make it the same as her, but it's a special food. <laughs> so I'm going for my evening uh, on call and I thought I would quickly show you guys my outfit because i'm actually obsessed you know what let me bring you guys a bit lower i'm wearing this skirt from my zara haul this is the softest top it's from m s and i think it was my mom wearing it with tights and then i'm wearing these public desire boots that i also showed in my zara haul so long story short watch my zara haul because pretty much all my workwear is from that as well as this puffer jacket my mum has also made me a coffee so i am gonna have that to go and another thing I want to say is, if a lot of you guys were wondering, oh my god, is your feet not going to break at work? Um, I don't know. I'm going to test it out because it's the first time I'm doing it in this new job where I'm going to be all over the hospital. I don't know if that's really clever of me, but we'll see. Anyway, let's go on our evening shift, guys. My feet are killing me. I'm wearing heels to work again. So it is... Coffee time, it's 8.30 p.m. and I feel like I'm gonna regret this later when I'm tired, but it's been busy, so I need a pick-me-up. So. As per standard British weather, it is of course raining, but I finished my second and final on call of the week. I'm now done! Woo woo woo! So I don't think I'm going to take another on call because I actually want to enjoy my annual leave now. Um, it's only three days anyway, it's like a long weekend because tomorrow's Friday. Just taking one extra day. Guys, I'm never ever wearing heels to work again by the way. It absolutely kills. Uh, I just want to quickly run through what I actually do on these shifts by the way. So this is called the A&E, uh, the AAU take. And what it is, is when A&E sees a patient and um, sees them and thinks that it's a medical problem my team um the medical team comes and sees them so it's either like medical or surgical um you know or they can go home straight away from any &E. they think they need to admit them then my team will see them and so i'm one of the first doctors who sees them and then i will see see them again with a senior with like my plan or what i think is going on so that is what i do never ever wearing heels to work again ever that being said though um a lot of people complimented my outfit today like a lot one nurse said i looked like ariana grande another nurse said i was beautiful boy was i gassed so yeah it looked nice but it was painful wearing heels so i'm just gonna wear my stick to my flat form boots from now on unless i am literally not moving from my ward so I was kind of like all over the place. Anyway, let's go home. Sina's got me some biryani from one of our favorite little takeouts. Love Indian food. Anyone else who loves Indian food or spicy food, let me know in the comments down below. This is how he greets me. Say hello. Hello. Is this how you say hello? Is this how you say hello? Guys, it's official. I think I have found the world's softest pyjama hoodie set. This set from Fashion Nova. Oh my god, guys. Literally, this is the exact thing that I need to wear in order to eat my biryani in. Oh, he wants to go outside. Let me let the dog out. Where is my biryani? There we go. My mum leaves my food when I'm like coming home, but I'm not home at the right time with everyone else. She leaves it on the radiator for me so that it stays warm but i want to unbox this to show you guys my sister gets this um biryani from i want to say somewhere near hillingdon um but basically it is like very like authentically made um run by like these ladies who started off with like just one um shop and now they've got like a few kitchens where they sell these biryanis so 
So yum, 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 yum. I can't wait to eat this. I'm gonna devour this and I'm gonna relax now on the sofa. I am very, very tired now. Today has been actually very long. So when I woke up early in the morning and then I went to take my car and did the food shop, I then came back and made lunch and then I took some photos for my Instagram. Uh, I did some unboxings as well and just some shooting and then I got changed and went to work. And I've also been vlogging the whole day as well. So I feel like I need to sign off now for the evening and just let my brain chillax. Which you guys already know what that involves. Three seconds to guess. Two seconds to guess. One second to guess. Yep. I'm going to watch some Netflix and chill. And the old me would only watch Modern Family. But now I'm going to watch The Crown because I'm almost done with it. Also this eye of mine feels really swollen this eye i've been itching it all day today so so i will see you guys in the morning and i hope you all have a good sleep and good night good morning i have a bit of an eye infection this morning i think in both eyes um because my eyes were just this one was weeping so badly and they had like what's it called i know the iranian word so bad but the english word has slipped my head the iranian word is gay when it just kind of collects at the front of your eye um so i'm gonna go buy some eye drops for myself and also buy an avocado for lunch i'm gonna have a tuna avocado sandwich and i'm dressed like a snowman this is my new aesthetic it's a snowman aesthetic i'm here for it every day why all white and a bunch of stains there is a stain here there is a stain here this is brand new it's signed us from miss pat make sure you watch her miss pat haul oh my god there's an apple right opposite me and all i could think about was twilight look at this doesn't that remind you of twilight <laughs> it's just one individual baked apple by itself guys my eye is so swollen okay so i'm gonna go buy these eye drops and um the avocado and a coffee i want a coffee and i also want a match i can't make up my mind today but i also want to do a workout and the garden looks like really inviting for a workout so provided it's also 10 degrees today like it was yesterday i'm gonna do a workout because today i'm honestly not gonna do any work sorry my dog keeps barking so i can let him in it's like his doorbell um so yeah today i was telling Sina i was like i'm gonna do nothing today because i have been working non-stop for i can't remember how long like even my days off i've either been working in hospital or working on like, content and stuff so yeah i just want to give myself a day off um so i'm not gonna take any pictures i'm not gonna film anything for youtube um apart from this vlog <laughs> but um, yeah i'm just gonna chillax and um yeah have a good day also while i'm here i thought i'd answer a few like faqs about being a doctor um and especially a junior doctor lol my mum uh so i think the main question that i always get is like how many hours do you work so i think i've addressed this in another video but it's usually nine to five five days a week um and then i think like every other week you have at least two on calls sometimes three sometimes four sometimes five so last week i had five next week i've got three so yeah um they balance it out though so that everyone kind of does a similar amount um the second question i always get is where do i work i work in aau which is the acute admissions unit it's basically like the medical ward of like following a &E. so let's say you go into a &E and they think that you need to be reviewed by medics and um it's not a surgical problem but you still need to be admitted and treated then you come into aau we treat you and then if you need like a longer stay it's like a short stay if you need a longer stay you can go up to a ward and if it's short stay then usually you just stay with us and we will treat you until you're ready to go home and then i think the next question that i always get is how much do we get paid so as a junior doctor your salary starts at twenty-eight thousand pounds that's like the basic salary before tax and um that's in one year and it's great british pounds so if you guys live in another country you can work that out um and 
it can go up to I think like 37,000 with all the on calls and um, unsociable hours that you do and on top of it you can locum to earn money so locuming you can make from 30 pounds an hour um, for a shift so let's say you do a whole day and that is how long is a whole day 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 8 hours in eight hours you will make eight times three 240 pounds before tax which isn't bad like starting rate um so yeah there's definitely room to make more than just your baseline salary um and it does go up every single year so when you become an f2 your salary goes up when you then go on to specialize your salary will always be on a ladder until you become a consultant and then it just it really depends on like what you're doing so i hope that that has answered a few of like your medical faqs because i know a lot of you guys come to me for junior doctor vlogs and info um so as well as showing you my life i want to give you some insight too so any other questions that you want me to ask in future vlogs just leave them in the comments down below and i'll do that but for now let's go and get me some eye drops so my first stop is Starbucks because I've decided I can't do anything without a coffee, even going to the pharmacy. Oh, there's a queue. That is long. Guys, I just got my Starbucks for free because um, they had a free drink for me for my birthday last year on my car. So I'm so gassed. And now I'm in boots. I'm going to get some eye drops. Why do I, this is like the most fun I've had since this lockdown started. I don't know if you guys heard me before, but I got my Starbucks for free. Um, so I used my Starbucks card. I don't know if you guys remember when I used to go to uni, I always used to order my Starbucks on my phone with the app and then come and collect it before I got on the train to go to uni. So yeah, um, I apparently had I'm like a gold member because I used to buy Starbucks every single day on my way to uni so I think you get that after like 30 drinks and I think you, there's no like limit I was like I don't know maybe 30 drinks in a year something like that so you know it's quite doable if you buy your coffee if you buy coffee every day or regularly and you buy it from the same place you can become a gold member and what that means is like you get like free syrups in your drink rather than them charging you and like every 15 uh, drinks you get a drink free you get free drinks on your birthday so I had missed my free drink on my birthday which was March last year and they gave it to me now because I hadn't used my card since my birthday because obviously everything's been shut and even when it has been open I haven't really um, been using this Starbucks card so I'm so happy and also I think I just collected another free drink like I had 14 points and you need 15 for another free drink so I don't, I don't know what happened there but basically thanks Starbucks this is the most freebie I've got in a long time and coffee tastes better when it's free so any of you guys wondering what I got oh I forgot to say one pump but I got a medium soy latte with one I, I like one pump of sugar-free hazelnut but I think this has two because it's a medium so I'm just gonna drive home now I also got the avocados and the eye drops from Boots and let me see how long it took me to do all that I did all of that in about 18 minutes so that's not bad. Did all three of my errands in, in uh, well technically coffee wasn't an errand, but you know what I mean. So I've eaten half of this already, but my mum's made a tuna niçoise salad and bagel, which is basically the same thing that I have for lunch. Yummy. <laughs> it's basically the same thing that I have for so lunch yummy, every single day, but um, at work, but this is so yummy. I don't usually have tuna because I'm scared of getting food poisoning. So I just have a Greek salad um, because I don't want my food from out of the fridge. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have some more of this. Uh, this is my third bowl. And my mum's gonna have her bagel now. Yum. How nice are these If bagels? you guys wanna see how she made this, by the way, it's on Music Edema, but it's so yummy. It's got truffle balsamic and olive so, oil. So how much, uh, how much calorie are in these bagels? 160 calories. Yeah, as I said. Nice yeah, it's like a very good healthy lunch. Very healthy. So I've come with my mum. We are going to get we're going to get um, a package from MS um, because she ordered some clothes. So we're just going to collect it from like basically MS food, no? Yes. Which is quite convenient. But when you order by internet, yeah. This you can collect it from there. Yeah. 
I am not gonna lie, I think that sitting at home is very difficult and I can see how straining the lockdown is on everyone's mental health and how long it's gone on for. But I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone for staying home. I actually do want to thank you guys because as hard as it is, and even me finding it hard too, as someone who goes to work and comes home, I am really grateful for it simultaneously because I see the effects firsthand. So I'm getting so inventive with dinner seeing as cooking is the main fun of my life right now. So I, my mum's making chicken and rice so I took off some of her chicken and added red bell peppers into it, cut up. And then once that um, water like boils the chicken, I'm going to put the lid on. Once that water like boils the chicken and the... Um, red bell peppers and like this quite soft and stuff then I'm gonna pour the katsu curry sauce in that I got from Waitrose their sauce is really good add some like black pepper seasoning chili flakes etc then I am going to um, season this rice and mix it with the leftover cauliflower rice thing that I have from yesterday's lunch and then I'll have like a really healthy chicken katsu curry so I'm really excited but I did just have some quiche Lorraine and a mini bagel so that was like lunch and now I'm going to be making this dinner so exciting added in the stir fried rice so I added the rice into the pot with the katsu curry um, just so that it becomes like fully like katsu rice um, because there was a lot of rice and I feel like my parents can have some of the rice with their chicken like later on if they want um so yeah i can just kind of have my chicken in there uh with this rice so i'm sure it's so much more appetizing than it looks by the way so i put twilight on right and my dad has never seen this and his eyes are like why is he covering his nose when she walks into biology because she smells peng bro that's why <laughs> Now, in how a film of vampire ass. So we have my food, which is the katsu stir fried curry. We have my mum's food, which is the chicken and rice, and then we have some salad shirazi. In about them tongue coin man doros kardam. You can be kitchen them tongue on it. Be kitchen digger if you want to see you try it. Morga Shavana, the Shin on the Vanan. She hung. What's my dad? Translation? Delicious. Ooh, okay, Mom, you try it now. Mm. Nice? What's that? <laughs> He keeps saying it's nice, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna it's have It's really, this. really nice. I love it. Mum, what? Do, who did you think Edward is? Ghost. And what do you think? Alien. Alien? <laughs> <laughs> no. You have to watch to see. I won't tell you. Oh, my dish is made in the lady. Huh? She should it. She a mom. Dracula. She, her reaction was like, her reaction was so funny. She said, Dracula. <laughs> so, Dracula is basically Dracula, which is vampire in Iranian. <laughs> She's freaked out. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. And in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm closing the cupboard doors in here. I might film something. This is my parents' wardrobe, by the way. Basically, I've just done my eyebrows, so don't watch how red they are. My mum is hella talented. She can do eyebrows with the thread, so that is why they are really red right now, but I'm just going to let them relax a bit. Um, I was so freaked out last night because I walked into the kitchen again, and I saw that red apple again, and I was like, oh yeah, lol, the twilight apple. And then I realised that that evening, out of the blue, Netflix ended up suggesting me to watch Twilight. And I watched it with my family. Do you remember? That is so creepy. Like, as in, I didn't search Twilight to watch it or anything. And you guys saw we were watching it. And I didn't say, oh, yeah, the app. Like, that just 
freaked me out so much. Do you guys ever get that feeling that like someone's like you talk about something? One of the boys actually from my work was saying this. He was saying how um when we were talking about um my YouTube one day, um he went home and that night he went on YouTube and he was like, Seppi, I've never searched you before, like nothing like that. And I swear in my life you were on my explore page, like I hadn't saved your number, like nothing like that. So does anyone think that sometimes their like phone is like listening or something or like well the TV can't be listening I don't know I just found that whole thing so weird yeah I just like in thought like what is going on like there's I'm sure there's loads of like theories about stuff like this and like um what's it called the th the the theory the ah uh, what I forgot what it's called but you know when there's like these theories of like things that are, that's it, Sina. Thank you for chiming in. Conspiracy theories. I'm sure there's loads of conspiracy theories, but like, come on, that was weird. Like, oh, it was just like I attracted it. The energy of me seeing that apple and thinking of Twilight attracted it. But yeah, very, very weird. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope that you guys have enjoyed coming along with me to my uncles and just kind of a day, a few days in my life seeing uh, what I've been up to. If you are enjoying these vlogs, which loads of you guys are and the messages are making me so happy, then please comment down below and have a chat with me. I love speaking to you guys in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe right here, the red button and press the bell. Every subscription goes such a long way for me and it means the world to me. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up too so that I know to film more vlogs for you. My socials are always linked down below. My Instagram is Persian Bunny, my Snap is Seppi Samoy, and my TikTok is Persian underscore bunny. I love you so much, and I'll see you next week in my next vlog. Bye!